This is um, a partial skeleton of an ankylosaurian dinosaur um, that was found here in the Isle of Wight and is going to be on display here in the Dinosaur Art Museum in Sandown. And it's a skeleton of a dinosaur that had quite short limbs, it had a very wide body, and it was characteristically covered in armour um, right from its head to the end of its tail. Even its head would have been armoured, although actually we don't have the skull for this particular animal. Um, this specimen was actually found in the early 1980s. Um, it's had quite a complicated history. Um, it was in private collections uh, for a while um, and it wasn't really studied until it was acquired by Dinosaur Isle Museum just several years ago. And as soon as it came into the museum here, we were able to study it and work on it. Uh, this specimen has a bunch of really clear characters that make it very, very clearly a different species from the island's other really well-known ankylosaur, which is called Polacanthus. And Polacanthus has been known about for a really, really long time. Um, at, but this is clearly a different species. Um, it's got features of the vertebrae, so there are some, some ridges on the sides of the vertebrae that we don't see in Polacanthus. It's got really deep holes in the top surfaces of the vertebrae. Uh, it has a number of features um, of the ilium, which is like the, the pelvic region, that are really quite different from Polacanthus. So we can be really happy that this is something totally different. Um, the specimen is called Vectipelta barati, and Vectipelta is named for uh, Vectis, which was the, the Roman name for the Isle of Wight, and Pelta means shield. So this is in reference to this kind of complete shield-like covering um, of Dermalama that, that was on the back of this animal. Um, Barratai is named after uh, Professor Paul Barrett, who's the NHM's other dinosaur researcher, and he's been a very influ influential and important person in my career, and we wanted to uh, name a dinosaur after him to say thank you for all the support that he's given us over the years. I'm actually really delighted to have a dinosaur named after me. It's quite interesting that my colleagues waited to find a slow-moving, spiky animal to name after me, but generally I think it probably fits the bill. It's always really nice to know that other people are following in your footsteps and they're going on to do their own things and actually cleverer and more important things than you do to start with as the subject gets better and moves forwards. So it's always lovely to know that other people are taking up that baton and moving forwards and moving the subjects forwards in general. If you're enjoying this series, then click on our follow on video to keep watching or let us know what you thought in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more content from the Natural History Museum.